Okay, y'all, we're going to call the um, Finance and Operations Committee to order, and um, our first order of business is to consider applications for um, some committees, and if y'all want to make those motions, sure. we'll get through those. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, York County Forever, uh, recommendation for consideration, reappointment of Steve Hamilton for a second term, and the recommendation for consideration, reappointment of Carrie um, Tilly for a second term. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Catawba Regional Council of Government, uh, recommendation for consideration appointment of Bo Leg to fill vacant seat. Second. Oh, huh. What the mayor? For what group is it? For what board? Catawba, the cog. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Think, I don't think that's the wall. Yeah. So. I didn't realize the board was that one. We're good. We're good. Okay. okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Building Board of Appeals uh, recommendation for consideration of appointment of Donald Brown for a first term. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Newport Fire Department or Fire Tax District recommendation for consideration the appointment of James Freeman for a first term. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so our next um, item is the discussion regarding modifications to the personnel ordinance. Who's going to talk to about that? Tom can take the lead on that, honestly. Uh, okay, um, and this is in regards to the sheriff's office. Um, the opportunity here I think we have is that um, we have something that's not going to be impacting the budget, but it's going to be offering um, a nice solution to have the sheriff's office move forward with something that they can help to retain the police and it's the sheriff's it's office. Countywide, not just the sheriff, the sheriff is very supportive of yep. this. And, um, you know, Tom had mentioned, I think, in the December meeting, when we talked with the vacancies to try to come with some creative ways, and we had a young lady in IT um, and GIS had some questions about the vacation. It just sort of got me thinking about that, and I got with the sheriff and figured out, you know, what can we do here to address this? And he's hopeful that this can help eliminate some of his overtime that he's had because of lack of positions being filled is basically we got three tiers of vacation zero to ten ten to twenty and above each of those is getting an extra two hours a week and then if you have applicable month. county two hours, a month. two hours a month not a week I'm sorry two hours a month and if you have applicable experience um, that would count towards your time service Okay, so, so can you tell me that again so there's three tiers of vacation everybody's getting an extra two hours a month Towards vacation time across the board, all but levels, all levels are getting two hours a month. It should have mm -hmm. retention. To yes, the with well. retention. Yeah, and the sheriff cities, I know sheriff and solicitor, they choose sheriff city. Talk with you, Tom, and you and I've talked mm -hmm. a little bit, Alice, and I've talked to you about as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the ultimate goal again to improve recruitment and retention, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can fill some of those positions, drive down some of the overtime that we're experiencing in some places. Well, I think this is a prime example of being creative, and an opportunity for us to help support and help to uh, build the retention. For that, yeah, and, absolutely. You know, and this is an area of Rock Hill a few months ago, just up there as well. So it's a it's a competitive mm -hmm. area. We try to have to make sure, mm -hmm. you know, we're not going to be leading the pack in mm -hmm. this, but we're um, we're competitive, and I think it's going to be a good thing for the employees that are here at the county as well. Yeah, absolutely. So I've got a motion for approval on this. I have, but I, so is that management's recommendation? Yes. So when management. it comes to council, it's going to be it's management. Yes. Yes, it will. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second, all in favor Second. say aye. 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 But it was really just a discussion, so I don't know that we had to vote. But well, I think we were voting. We're bit of it. Yeah, pushing we're on the council. Yeah, pushing okay. voting to push the council. Okay. All right, and now um, the um, committee to consider the. Um, I'll just read it. The committee to consider allocation of funds from District Two to the Bethel Volunteer Fire Department, Station Three, in the amount of twelve hundred thirty-two dollars and sixty-four cents. Um, motion for approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Um, and then do we have an approval a uh, motion for the minutes? Yeah, motion to approve uh, January 2nd uh, Finance and Operation Committee meeting minutes. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, right. nothing, we're not, nothing from Aaron this time. So Aaron, next time we'll be looking to hear from you. Mm -hmm. And uh, motion for adjournment. Look, get it done. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. You're lucky man. I'll just say that. Lucky man.